Hey guys, over here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 3 Module 1 Lesson 15 homework. So let's get started. Number one, label the tape diagrams and complete the equations. Then draw an array to represent the problems. Alright, so first we have tape diagram. There's three in each group and we have four groups. So we have three, six, nine, twelve. So our total is twelve which means four times three is 12. And for four, we have four, eight, 12. So three times four is 12. And B, um, we have a nine here. And since there's um, four groups of nine, we can just draw a nine. So we have nine, 18, 27, 36, which means four times nine is 36. And here we have four, and we have nine groups of four, which is also 36, which means nine times four is 36. Let's draw an array. So we can do one, two, three, four. So that's our array. Yeah. All right, next page. So C, um, there's obviously six groups and there's four here, which means there's four in each group. So we can just draw four here and two. And we can just fill in the rest. So a four. So we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. That's our total. So that means 6 times 4 is 24. And over here, we have 6 here. That's 6. We can just fill in the blank. So we have 6, 12, 18, 24. Which means 4 times 6 is also 24. We can draw an array. We can do like... Alright, and now number two. Seven clowns hold four balloons each at the fair. Draw and label a tape diagram to show the total number of balloons the clowns hold. Alright, so let's do our tape diagram. So let's start with what we know. There are seven clowns. So you can do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I mean, that was split randomly. Okay, so there's seven clowns. Also, we know there's seven clowns. And they each hold four balloons. But now we want to know what's the total number of balloons. So we have four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, and 28. So that means four times um, seven equals 28. So that means the clowns hold 28 balloon. Number three, George swims seven laps in the pool each day. How many laps does George swim after four days? So let's see. So what do we know so far? We know that there's four days. Let's separate this into four. But we want to know the total number of laps he swims after four days. And we know he swims like seven a day, so. Alright, so we can just like keep on counting on until we reach four days. So seven 
And that's 14. And that is 21. That's 28. So just like that, 7 times 4 equals 28. So that means that George swims 28 laps. Yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.